All right, guys, so if you're here for the how-to video, I'm going to put a little link in the description. It's going to have a timestamp. It'll tell you exactly when we're getting started on all that. But otherwise, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, what's up, guys? So today is the day after last night where Kyle and I were putting the transmission in, getting the BMW ready, and then the slave cylinder needed to be bled again. The battery was dead. That's where we left off, okay? Today is the next day. It is now Kyle's birthday. He thinks I'm at school, but actually I stayed home and I got a few things done. So what I did was I bled the slave cylinder. I made this little pump thing work. Clutch works now, hopefully. I added some more fluid into the, the radiator because we're leaking a little bit of coolant because we need to do the water pump. And then I went and got a battery. So actually, as you can see, the BMW is off of jacks. And uh, I'm gonna go and try to start her up right now. First start up, see if she sounds good with the new exhaust. So let's find out. Gotta find the keys. All right guys, let's see if she starts. She's a little loud. Oh, I'm gonna go get her washed. So yeah guys, huge shout out to Austin for hooking this thing up, getting it set up. Um, yeah, I, I, it was just awesome actually getting to run it. Haven't really been able to drive it much because it's just misfiring so bad that it's just, it sounds like a Subaru. It, it just, it's barely running. Like when it first starts up, it's fine, but as soon as it gets warm, it's pop, 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 pop. So if any of you guys have an issue with this, let me know, because I'm kind of curious. I think it's just the coils, because they're those cheap eBay coils, so I'm assuming they probably just went bad. But uh, I'm kind of curious if it might be something bigger. If any of you guys have had this issue, like, put it down in the comments, because I'm really, I'm curious, I don't know. This is my first time having one of these cars, so it's all new to me. Most of my cars don't even have a computer, so <laughs> this is a learning curve for me. So, so anyway, guys, let's go out there, let's get this thing on ramps, and get started pulling that water pump, all right? Damn. Cheers. Sure. So guys, first step, we're gonna remove these screws here. They should be an eight millimeter. And just pop them out. We're gonna get this fan shroud off. So these little pop things, and they go in this spot, you just gotta wedge them out. Uh, mine came right out, but mine are all worn. But you should probably just use like a screwdriver or something like that, it should pop right off. Okay guys, so the next step, what you're gonna need is one of these clutch fan tool things. You get them on Amazon, eBay, parts store, you can rent a tool, whatever. Real easy. So all you gotta do is you gotta get this piece here, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and secure the bolt to hold it in place. You're gonna take this piece here, and this is gonna go over the nut, and it's reverse threaded. So instead of going left to loosen, you need to go right. So once you do that, you're gonna take it, and you may see that you need a hammer. So you might have to just tap, 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 and uh, it should just pop right off. And then once we get the fan out of the way, we should be able to get the rest of the stuff going. So let's go do it. Okay, so in there is your water pump, and you can see where the bolt is. That's what you got to secure the tool to, and that's what we're going to do. Oh. Now we should be able to just get that off. There we go. So next we're going to remove the fan shroud, but first we got to get rid of this bolt. This little bolt hidden here. Um, and we're going to take this fan shroud off so we can get the clutch fan out of there. Um, so let's do it. So I got those bolts out. Um, and under here there's a little sensor you need to take out. Yeah, take that sensor. It's right here. This little, like, mine would look like it was broken. See, it's all stripped up. But it connects to the bottom of this piece. And when I pulled this off, I pulled this hose off here. 
and just leaks coolant everywhere. So I didn't drain my coolant because I'm just like, whatever, I'm lazy. But <laughs> you probably should drain it, but this is what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna pull this off. Once we get that out, then we'll move on to the next step. So guys, when you're doing this, this thing basically attaches under in the uh, fan shroud. And I accidentally let mine drop as you saw, and it leaked all out here. So yeah, be careful with that. Next, just take a 15 millimeter of this bolt here. This will loosen up the belt, and then we can pop it off. Now all we gotta do is take these four uh, 10 millimeter bolts off and pull the pulley off. Okay, so next there's four bolts under here holding this thing on um, and we're going to get those things off and then we just have to pull this sucker out. So let's get to them. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that. So if you guys look right there, you might notice that something's missing that should be there. Can anybody guess what that should be? All right guys, so yeah, that thing there, it's supposed to be for the crankshaft position sensor. I guess it might have been like from an older model, but from what I've read, they said that it was just something that they left on there because it's an M52. So, I don't know, but I can't find any connections under here for where it goes and it, it's not throwing a code for it, so we're just gonna say, uh, send it. So, let's go and get the uh, new pump on and move from there. All right, so we got the uh, new things here, new water pumps. You can see here, this is the plastic piece of crap one that leaked. In here is where the little weep hole is, so when it started leaking on the floor, that was a sign that this thing was going out. These things are crap. So we're upgrading to this. Luckily, our uh, person that we bought it from included it. It's made out of metal, so it's not gonna break as easily, hopefully. And yeah, so we just gotta put the O-ring and then put it in that bitch. So on here, you got two different sides. You got this thing that's all flattened up, and then this part that's rounded. So this side's gonna set up, so it's gonna go in there like this. Make sure you put a fresh gasket and, well, I just spit on it, but you know, you could use coolant or something like that to help slide it in, but whatever you gotta do. And then we're just gonna put it in here. And there we go, freshly installed. Now we gotta get the belts back on and uh, put the hoses back on too, right? Yep. So we'll get these nuts on here and go from there. Take this sucker and boom. Corky, what are you doing? Just putting the uh, belt back on since it got all nasty in here. Ugh, look at that, it fell in that crap. Now it's got oil, I'm gonna have to clean this. Dude, look at that. It's oil and coolant. Grody. Gotta clean that shit. All right. All right, so now we're just gonna take this, put the fan shroud back together, get the fan on, and put all this crap back together. Had some technical difficulties getting the uh, fan shroud on because I lost a bolt that goes in here, but oh well. Getting the clutch fan put back on, and then we're gonna fill it back up with fluid. Okay, so now Austin's gonna take the fluid and uh, fill this Have sucker a back up. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing like some coolant to start your day. <laughs> so we're just gonna fill it up in there, and uh, yeah, go from there. We got a wonderful Mountain Dew. Mm. Okay, Austin's gonna start it up. We're gonna let it run a bit, and then we're gonna try to bleed it. Put that heat on high. Yeah, make sure you turn your heat all the way on high. Okay, we're gonna kill it. And then we're gonna check it once it cools down. So guys, I know it's a little bit later than what it used to be. It's a little bit darker out. Uh, the BMW is pretty much set. But if you know anything about me guys, I go crazy if I don't go to the gym. So I had to go and get that in, get it done. It was already dark anyway, so it was kind of like, well, I either go to the gym now and it closes or I don't and I'm screwed and whatever. So we got the water pump in there. It was pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it turned out really well. This is the old one. And what I wanted to show you guys, which I didn't show you earlier, was on this piece here, one of the things that I did that was a nifty little trick was I took these little screws here, right? 
And what I did is I found that this is threaded and it's a one, it's a metric like one by six millimeter or something like that, or it's a one by, it's a six millimeter bolt and it's a one X, whatever, it's the thread pitch. So anyway, what I did is I found out it's threaded and what you can do is you take these bolts and you run them through here. And what that does is it makes it to where it helps press this thing off of the original um, thing where it was mounted. And you can see it's just, it's all kinds of messed up and it was just leaking, the seal was bad. It's this cheap plastic thing, real easy to break. So we just replaced it because it's just the best way to do it. So we're glad that that's on there. Um, the bleeding process, when it came to that, basically all we had to do was we filled up the reservoir and then we cranked all the things on there, turned the car on, let it run, opened up the bleed screw to get out as much fluid as we could. Um, and that seemed to do the trick, but then it basically ran really low. Had to let the car cool down, filled it up with more fluid, and just repeat it until we basically had it full of fluid where we wanted it. Let it cool down, it was good to go. Um, so yeah, so now that thing's good to go. So I wanted to let you guys in on a little secret. So, tomorrow is my last final. And I know things have been kind of slow. I've been trying to stay consistent with my uploads here, but uh, if, if you're wondering why it's been kind of a little bit sporadic, kind of all over the place with our builds, that's why. Um, school just, it takes up a lot of time. It takes up a lot of effort and it's my priority. This, the channel, is still going. We're gonna do what we can, but you know, when it slows down, it's because of school and other conflicts, things that we got going on, but I'm always gonna upload. I'm always gonna do at least once a week. So stick with me guys, I promise. We're, we're gonna get through this. And we're gonna get through this together. So uh, the next big thing that I have planned that I really, really want to get done is, it's totally random, but it's my Duramax. Like I just want to get that thing painted and the plastic dip done, but I've been waiting till after the final. So that's going to be a build that's going to be coming up here pretty quick. So look forward to that. The RX-7, we still have to get fixed. Hang on one sec. So as far as the RX-7 goes, I got one of these and it's a uh, fan trail. So, we're going to use this to basically fix the RX-7. That's going to be down the road, but we got like two big events coming up. Uh, we got both a Lone Star event and a local Club Loose. So we want to get those done. Um, I'm thinking that, I'm not sure if we're going to do Lone Star. It's very expensive, but I've got the itch to go drive so bad. So you might see us at Lone Star round three, I think they're on. So we might do that. We'll see. Otherwise, we're going to go to Club Loose, and that's on the 27th of May. So either way, we're going to do one of them. So don't worry guys, we are gonna go and do some actual drifting and not spend our whole time just building cars. Promise we're gonna get some driving in there. So look forward to that. Look forward to the Plasti Dip on the truck. And if you haven't noticed, Austin's car is in here for surgery. So that's the next thing to go under the gun. So we got a lot of stuff coming up. So I hope you guys are ready for this because I know I am. We got a lot of stuff planned and uh, we we'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. So just just stick with us, guys. And if you haven't subscribed already, so please subscribe because man, we got we got a ton of different builds. We got variety for days. So I hope you guys are ready for that, and we'll see y'all in the next one.